Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to explain what are smart contracts. With cryptos being massively in the limelight in the past 12 months again, you may have heard the term smart contracts and you may be wondering what are smart contracts used for and what are they meant to solve. If you enjoyed this video then I'd really appreciate an early thumbs up as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm so that my content can reach more people. Also please subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos as I upload new content every week on personal finance, investing and how to reach financial freedom. So you're probably familiar with what a contract is. Basically a legal document that states and explains a formal agreement between two different people or groups to do or not do something in the future within certain parameters. So what are smart contracts? Smart contracts are like contracts in the real world except they are digital. The term smart contracts was coined by a computer scientist called Nick Sabo back in 1994. Smart contracts bring contracts into the digital age and are written into lines of code stored on a distributed decentralized blockchain network. The smart contracts are self-executing which is what makes them smart as it avoids the need for a trusted intermediary or authority that generally costs money. And they permit transactions and agreements to be carried out by the parties involved. For example, they can help you exchange money, property or anything of value in a way that avoids middlemen and is transparent and conflict free. The code controls the execution and transactions are trackable and irreversible. For example, if you know sites like Indiegogo or Kickstarter, or any crowdfunding platforms, you'll understand that people post projects with a funding goal with the aim to collect money from supporters who believe in the project. Kickstarter in this instance acts as the intermediary between the project creator and the supporters of the project. For this project to work, then both the creators and supporters need to trust the third party, which is Kickstarter. If the project reaches its goal, the project creators expect the money from Kickstarter. And the inverse of this is also true in that the supporters want their money to go to the project creators if it reaches the monetary goal. And if not, the supporters want their money refunded to them. Both sides trust Kickstarter, but smart contracts get around this need for a third party. The smart contract would be programmed to hold all the received funds until a certain goal is reached. The supporters would transfer their money to the smart contract and if it's successful, the money goes to the project creators. If it's not successful, then the money is refunded to the supporters. It basically works using if this then that style of programming logic. Because it is stored in a blockchain, it is distributed and no one party is in control of the money. So why would you trust a smart contract? Smart contracts are immutable, which means that no one can change the code of the contract once it's established. And because they are distributed, it is validated by everyone on the network. And this means that someone on the network can't mark the contract as complete without the other people spotting this and marking it as invalid. Smart contracts also make transactions traceable, transparent and irreversible. This makes tampering with smart contracts almost impossible. So what are the benefits of smart contracts? By removing the need for an intermediary, it saves money. Contracts on the shared ledger mean there is no way someone can say they lost the contract or didn't read it or didn't get the money or any other human errors. Because the contracts are on a blockchain, it is replicated by hundreds or thousands of people and is retrievable from any other node on the network. This means it's backed up numerous times over. Also, smart contracts use code to automate many tasks, which in turn saves time from many business processes. Also, due to the contract being smart, it reduces the possibility of human error. While this all sounds great, they are still far from perfect. They can suffer from bugs in the code. Also, how do countries tax these contracts or regulate disputes? Or what happens if your apartment you're meant to sell burns down just as the payment went through? In real life, this would be dealt with in court, but on the blockchain, it's not so simple and there is no way to revert a transaction. So there are still a lot of challenges for smart contracts before they are widely adopted, but experts are trying their best to overcome these. Ethereum was specifically designed to support the use of smart contracts and uses them with a programming language called Solidity, which has a syntax similar to JavaScript. Bitcoin also has support for smart contracts, although it's a lot more limited than Ethereum. Nick Sabo is actually often rumored to be the real Satoshi Nakamoto, which if you don't know who that is, then it's the anonymous inventor of Bitcoin. But Sabo has denied this. 
and even this week ADA Cardano said it's set to allow smart contracts in the future. So if this has inspired you to want to invest in Ethereum, Bitcoin or ADA, then why not do it on one of my brokers of choice, which are eToro and Coinbase. I've got a video explaining how to do that up here and in the description below, along with an affiliate link if you fancy just diving straight in. If you found this video helpful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up as it really helps support the channel. Do you think smart contracts are the future? If so, which crypto do you believe will be the biggest in time to come? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to know and I read all your comments. Also, if you want to learn more about how eToro works or more about personal finance or investing, I have numerous videos on my channel, so I recommend you go check them out and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future updates. It's been Ollie from GetGeek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.